Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So this video we're going to be tackling the club hammer of that two-piece set I showed before. Um, last week I did a video about taking the cross paint hammer of the set and making it a better uh, blacksmith hammer. So I'm going to do the same with the club hammer. Uh, this one I'm going to actually change into a rounded hammer. This is going to be my first rounding hammer actually in my shop, so kind of excited about it to see how it works out. So if you haven't checked out the videos for the reviews of these hammers, uh, it should be up there. So um, take a look at those, and I'm going to get into this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. So on both sides of this club hammer, you pretty well have a nice flat surface. Well, I say nice. Um, and then just one chamfer. So one side's gonna be a flat, the flat surface. So all I have to do is take that chamfer a little bit down and make it more smoother. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the rounding. Um, that one I'm gonna explain a little bit more. But first, let's take on the flat side. So unlike my other video where I used the belt grinder, this time I'm actually just going to use my angle grinder. Um, an angle grinder is pretty well one of the first tools I actually bought as a blacksmith, you know, aside from, you know, the obvious anvil, hammer, you know, forge. Um, angle grinder, you know, I've always had one in my shop. Um, so, you know, they're, they're pretty cheap. You can get a decent one, 60, 70, you know, and up kind of one so um, what I'm going to be using is if I'm doing heavy grinding and this is going to be more on the rounding side um, I'll be using um, a grinding wheel and then to smooth everything off I'm just going to use a flap disc uh, on the flat side I'm only going to be using the flap disc I don't think I'm going to need to actually use the grinding wheel For the other side, where we're going to do the rounding, um, let's see if I can draw this upside down. Um, so right now, imagine this is the side of the hammer, so like going up here. You have this little tiny chamfer, and you got that flat surface. Probably should have made that bigger. So with a rounding hammer, you're almost going to go right about here and take down the flat completely and just bring it even more and more down so it's a swoop it would be almost like a complete ball and there would be a little bit of a I don't want to say flat because it's not actually flat right at the top it is rounded it's just less of a actually it's a greater radius here and then it gets smaller and smaller radius as you go down the side so it's not a perfect arch almost kind of like a mushroom cap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to have to knock down all the edges like I did with the flat, but go a little bit more aggressive so that it would actually be a lot more rounded than what I have currently on the flat. Because with the flat side, we left that side here and all we did was trim down those sides a little bit from the sharp side. I hope that makes sense. And let's go to it.
what I would recommend after you grinded it with um, a flap disc, um, just take some sandpaper. This is, I don't even know what grit this is. But anyways, you can just run it over there, polish it out. Because if you have deep grinding marks in the head, it will actually show up in the mark, in the, in your work. So I usually just take some sandpaper. This is probably about a 400 grit. Probably you don't need more than that. And just work on smoothing that out a little bit more. So you get a nice, nice polish. Now you can go more crazy than this, but you really don't need to. Just take any of the deep grinding marks out. So now that I got everything shaped pretty good, it looks pretty good. Um, this handle, they're garbage. Um, so we'll get the handle replaced. Okay, now that the head is all ready, um, I got to pick a handle out for it. So with the axes, I've been getting handles from a U an eBay uh, user called Wickwas1. Um, I'll put his uh, profile down below. Well, he also, so he, I've mentioned him before. Um, he's a um, retired yeah, forest ranger. Um, he, um, he does the ax handles mostly, um, but he does do hammer handles. So I actually got a set of six from him. So, uh, this must be some ball peen. I think I'm pulling out all the ball peen, but there are also some club hammers or smaller ball peens. So I gotta choose which one I want for this. And I like this one. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice one. Cool. So now I got the handle. Now some of these handles um, don't have the kite cut into it yet. Some do. So I'm gonna have to just get the handsaw out and cut them. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use that one. I like that one. So, yeah, that's the handle. Let's get it sized up for it. Now I'm just using some uh, linseed oil. I, I use linseed oil on all my handles and hammers, axes, so just get it all nicely rubbed in there. Now these handles come already with uh, walnut oil on it, so I don't, I don't have to really worry too much but I kind of like just going over everything again with the uh, linseed oil just... so there you have it my cheap uh, rounding hammer um, so like I said before these I got at Princess Auto the, the hammers well, I put them away the um, the two-piece set I got at Princess Auto I got a link below to them um, and I kind of splurged a little bit with the handle um, but even still um, the handle is actually not too bad price from uh, Wickwas one um, if you don't mind bring it in like five six handles at a time so altogether, I probably have like $25 into this hammer um, that has cost me. Um, so, you know, I can't wait to use it out on stuff and see how a rounding hammer works. So um, it just shows that you don't need to spend a lot of money on 
those pretty fancy handmade forged hammers just to have a good hammer just takes a, a, a little time um, a little grinding a little sanding and you can actually have a pretty nice hammer so thank you guys for watching um, I hope you enjoyed I hope you got some good information out of it and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please do so I below 500 subscribers I really would like to be above that um, so thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time